Just show me you got it. You got another lance? I don't have another lance for this one. No. On progression series. Okay, so last episode of Prague uh, made me think very, very long and hard about continuing to react to Prague. Uh, it was Chain Burn versus Barrier Statue Stun. And I hope that this time we get to see the cool Mindmaster FTK deck, but who knows? It gets better? Great. Awesome. How could it possibly get better? This episode pissed me off. That's what I want to see, baby. That's what I want to see. However, However in each episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released moving in chronological order, constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of each episode. But this time around, we'll be introducing side sets, uh, side sets a, a new banding system, system, and, and even more fun surprises to keep you on your toes to and out. out of my this hair. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu -Oh! Progression, Progression Series Season 2. two. If you want 5% off Blue Rose, thank you for the 100 bits. Um, Mechlord, thank you for the raid. Uh, Agar, thank you for the 100. Please react to this. I'll do it tomorrow. Um, Dragonfire4498, thank you for the 12. Uh, Jimmy the Jambo, thank you for the 5. Fluzzy VT, thank you for the 7. Lord Rubino, thank you for the 32. Oh, good. We're resetting. We're doing a mid-season judgment. Mid-season judgment? Why? More accurately. Why don't you go ahead and tell the fans why we're doing that? We're doing a mid arc uh, judgment because you might have started to notice a lot more side sets have started to get printed in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, and with that, there's going to be more sets that we open before we hit this next arc. So we kind of talked it over, and Breakers of Shadow was actually the midpoint of the, uh, the arc that we're currently in. So we said, oh, well, maybe we should add a couple additional changes. Maybe we should talk about some things that maybe we wanted to look at for the rest of Progression Series. I think we came up with some pretty good changes. What do you think? I think so. I think the first one of those is going to the Hall of Fame. We're going to Hall of Fame a card that a lot of you have really wanted to see in there for quite some time, and that is Soul Charge. Talk about... Wasn't this already banned? Game determinative cards, Gage. What do you think? Yeah, it's been pretty swingy. I know there's been a few episodes that even a full power... No? Oh, okay. Well... Pretty exciting to see those, but it is a really <laughs> oppressive card, so <laughs> I think it's time to let it go. Sayonara yeah. to the um, the Soul Charge, right? There's a reason it's on the ban list, and we'll probably stay there until the end of time. But cards that won't be staying there till the end of time, we're actually bringing a card back from the Hall of Fame, and that is Ring of Destruction. May seem counterintuitive since we just did the burn episode previously. Oh, because of the errata? episode but uh this card's been errated so it's not nearly as bad as it was before and uh i think when you're looking at all the other cards there okay. i think it's perfectly okay what do you think yeah i think we can let the rod shine a little bit here maybe we'll play the ring it. and the rod Just get this man some pussy on god i was gonna say maybe we'll see it this episode who knows and then third <laughs> and finally gauge i think this is the change that most of the viewers are going to be excited for why don't you go ahead and tell them yeah, okay, so this one is one that I actually brought up. I thought it would be pretty good. One thing that we run into is the three loss streak gives the loser a ban, right? We can remove any card from their opposition's collection, and yep. hopefully that would, like, even the playing field. But we found sometimes that a lot of the cards that are banned are ones that were already banned in game or just are different purposes. So we decided to rework the rule a little bit and add a different caveat. If you're on a three lose streak, rather than being forced to ban a card from your opponent's collection, you can instead bring back one of your own. So we're introducing an oh! unbanned system instead. So definitely toss some things up. There's been some cards that haven't really gotten to shine in the limelight. Notably Norden. We won't talk about him. <laughs> we'll see him again soon, hopefully, though. I've got my He's own like, I'm going to lose. El Shadal construct that I'd like to unlock as well. But I think you may have a copy of it. So it's it's going to be interesting since we sometimes acquire the cards that we may have banned previously and how that's going to okay, play is, out. Okay, is but there more here? I think people are going to like just... the changes and uh, no new redoer tickets or anything like that. You and I seem pretty healthy on those. And we got I'm, enough I don't readers. know about you, Gage. I'm ready to get into today's episode. I'm ready, man. Let's do it. Mr. Quills, thank you for the 28. Nori, thank you for the $5. Episode, I own a house and I have a big yard no and I mow it every week in season because if I don't, I get fined. How do you tolerate a dumbass chat? <laughs> it's not easy. Dax Troyer, thank you for the 36. Cliche TTV, thank you for the 10. Just Some Jaw, thank you for the 27. Team Tetris, thank you for the 13. Team Trila, thank you for the 13. Yuri Artillery, thank you for the 37. Awesome MJ259, thank you for the 40. Weveling, thank you for the sub. Sleuth of Bears, thank you for the 21. Want to make sure you have enough of these to cover the intro into Prague. Thank you. MP3601, thank you for the 500 bits. Aqua Breaker, thank you for the 3. Go, 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 go. Oh, the rich get richer. Shit. 
Okay. Well, I mean, a wild card secret rare is still pretty Game good. Gaming Bull, think of the 17. P R E X, think of the 10. Protocon, think of the 13. Frog watching Twitch, think of the 9. Have P P F and Young, think of the 5. A Nightmare Pack, think of the 26. Going down swing, think of the 331. Snowman Grim, think of the 8. Eraser Jin, think of the Prime. Gung Rear, think of the 17. Eldritch Cowboy, think of the 17. Caliuri Posting, think of the 37. Real quick before we watch Prog, do you know if either of these guys have lawns? I should ask him. E9 Zippy, think of the 17. Phantom Thief 94, think of the 30. And we'll post the meme tweet momentarily. All about today's set: Premium Gold, Infinite Gold. It doesn't happen often, but we ran into a. What are we working with? Wonka! Whoa! Wait, how old is this fucking episode? Whoa! Yeah, I'm what you might call a progression player, a jank enthusiast, and Owen Six. So quiet up and listen down. And then we have a freedom debt relief. Say hello to one monthly payment. Click the amount you owe. Chat, what amount are you clicking? I'm clicking $50,000. Literal, like, once-in-a-lifetime matchup last episode. Our Barrier Statue stun deck against Chainburn? I think anybody that could watch that episode from frame one could see the outcome of that. Very grateful we even got a game out of it. But, yeah, that one was going to be an uphill battle no matter what way we looked at it. Hopefully this week we can return to normal, play some more, uh, good Yu-Gi-Oh decks, right? <laughs> Today we're opening Premium Gold 3. Actually a really sick set. Another addition onto the Premium Gold rarity. I still don't like it, but... As for the reprints, they're bangers in this set. The gold series sets like Maximum Gold and all of them actually do tend to release like really important cards in the game, reprinting them in gold rarity or giving them access to for other players to obtain. PGL3 really held it down well. All the Burning Abysses were released at this point in the game and they all got retrained into the gold rare. Uh, pretty good to see. Unfortunately, our Dante is already gone. He will be missed. I was just pogging about Archfiend Eccentric because I love this card. Here's a fresh eccentric. reprint off of it. Uh, no, Eccentric nice is probably the right way to say it. Of this. Luster and Vector are also <laughs> very, very important for Draco Faceoff. Look, they bundled them together just for you. We talked a little bit about Draco Faceoff it being necessary to have specifically Vector. That's the only Draco Overlord like, I think in the game at the moment. So, if we can manage to pull that, we can actually maybe piece together the uh, the engine there. Other cards that are crazy, Mass Change 2. Uh, this is its first, like, accessible reprint outside of the starter deck it was released in. I don't think we have a Dark Law or anything like that, though. We would have to get that from OTS pack, uh, which would be really difficult to pull. And this is a great sight to see, bro. Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit gets a reprint in here in Gold Rare. Great to pick up, of course, any hand trap in the game that can bolster all of our decks. And then the XYZs, the pull God, here is the crazy. are We've crazy. Got They're out of this fucking like world. Gaga Cowboy, Lightning Chidori can make some crazy things. <clears throat> Giant Hand was a prize This was the set the that time. made Cosmo accessible, accessible to accessible poor people. To Dante's a little I remember my locals who would call individuals who had the there. premium gold there. rarity Devil's Cosmo. We would say they were playing really Yellow cool Brick Road because all the cards were golden. The rare cards are also pretty solid fire and ice hand get reprints in here which uh might set alex off mm. to play a little bit of hat Maybe this was such a good a time to be playing to take to the table today. monarch cosmo 30 dollar deck cosmo 50 dollar we deck this card was Klee was time. worth so the price of card of demise uh, this was a much uh, even burning card. abyss wasn't that expensive rarity, so i you could probably guess the the secret rare still held their value pretty well. Other cards to consider, uh, there's Hope Harbinger, <laughs> which is very strong on his own, and Beatrice, which is I remember cool at this NAWCQ, sure this was a debut. my friend Sorob had his invite but couldn't decide what to play, you will and he bought and then right, sold today I gotta a top open the deck packs, three so times over the course the of the weekend. He just had the money for it because packs going. I don't even it, think the, your initial investment, if you were playing Whoa. a deck like Domain Monarch, was fucking 50 bucks. Sick card. An ultimate rare. I think I talked about it before. Really cool. Uh, what else in there, though? Lose one turn. This card is super annoying. Bro. I imagine back in the day, people trying to make this work. Last pack? Nah, probably oh not God. quick play. I, I think I have a full set Thanks for the sub, of though. ultimate rare fiendish chains on the, <laughs> the progression series account. I cannot believe that. That's crazy luck. Super sick. Unfortunately, we already imagine have opening that in your OTS. Imagine go getting um like fourth place and opening that in your OTS. Big set today. Premium gold three. This set is crazy. Like, you just saw, as Gage discussed it, there are so many insane cards in this set. Unfortunately, it's limited by the fact that there's only five cards per pack. Man, the gold sets have been... Koga for the mask change? I mean, there's no reason to, to do that. Koga's two. balls. 15 packs coming right up. Right off the bat, nothing too crazy. We already have most, if not all, of these cards, so I'm kind of disappointed for our first pack. Pack number two, still not looking Mask too change, great. Wicked oh, Witch, great. pretty our big. Our good old friend Barbar is making an uh, infamous return. Mask change two is kind of 
kind of neat if we actually, I think Dark Law is in here. I hope it is. But if it's not, that's just a complete waste of a card. We already have Dweller. The Cosmo stuff and the Pain Gainer are, like, fine if we get, like, maybe Dark Destroyer. But that's being a bit optimistic. Pack number three. Uh, good thing we banned Dante, just considering all the BA support gets reprinted in the set. There's regular Mass Change, which I think we already have. Get owned. Farm, Farm Girl good. Big. Again, we're slowly getting, like, the Cosmo stuff. But, again, I think we're going to have to get, like, a singular, like, Cosmo card every single gold secret rare for 15 packs. Otherwise, it's not happening. Well, you know, I say that, I mean, and there's Cosmo possible. Town. So we have that is order, very possible. Gotten, Wicked Witch, Farm Girl, and Cosmo Town now. So, like, we're on our way, and maybe there's a chance, but honestly, I'm still not holding my breath. First pack, mistake. That's pretty good, right? Decent little floodgate. Unfortunately, I'm not. What the fuck does he have here? Palmetto? Wait. Racetrack, now serving the Palmetto State. What is the Palmetto State? And is, is Racetrack a, a gas station? Is he getting an ad for a gas station? I didn't know they... I didn't know they did ads for gas stations. Not really excited to see any of these Burning Abyss cards popping up because without Dante, they are all but unplayable. Number two, Big Eye, Grand Horn of Heaven. Uh, nothing. He's a big eye. In that pack. Time space you? trap hole, Fire Hand. Interesting. Oh, okay. That one. How feels else a lot do they get customers? Packer, I think. Well, like when Fish you run Balkan out of gas, you stop by the nearest one. Later down the line, Beatrice is just. In Phenomenal card in general. Unfortunately, we don't have Dante, like we said, but two level sixes can make a foolish burial on legs. That's strong on its own. This is so funny. They, I, <laughs> I literally He's said we play need Cosmo. a singular Cosmo card every single pack, and since I said that, we have gotten them. Um, It's not Dark Destroyer. I, I, we really need Dark Destroyer if that's going to be a strategy we even consider, but it is what it is. Okay, the streak has been broken. That was pretty funny, though. You know, maybe I shouldn't have said anything. I kind of prefer seeing the Cosmo card Junk rather Karibo. than Junk Karibo and Sukumo Slash. Fire Lake. I've never Ooh, seen Sukumo that's Slash. That's a pretty good card. Maybe we can put together some some Burning Abyss. Sans Dante. Wow, that looks like a good pack, bro. Forerunner. Dvorak's in here. This is also a prize card. Not a good one, but it's a prize card. We have Constellar Ptolemaius. We actually That's have a the beautiful horn of heaven prince. Volcasaurus is super cool to see because you can go Ptolemaius. Sans Dante. Volcasaurus <laughs> pop a card, deal the burn damage. Was Dark Mirror Force Gaia Charge ever good? No. You can still attack with it. Sick, honestly, right? Whoa, that is such a sick combo. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Mr. Traveler of the Burning Abyss. I'm happy you're there, but. Unfortunately, we can't make much use of you, but... Oh, God, Ghost Frost right next Blast was such a big deal when this came out. People Obviously were like, this is going to make Monarchs crazy, and they were already also, crazy. Also, this card is just solid. It's a level 3 tuner, Psychic, making an Itali target, and it can use its effect on the field, which is pretty Ghost over at Common? To, Wasn't it like... Uh, this Ghost Girl? Uh, it's neat. It's got everything going for it. Everything in this set was at least a little... Rare. Dark Destroyer. Maybe I'm wrong. A pretty sick card. Agnum Mara. Wow, Dark Destroyer. Cosmos we pulled. Got a straw man there, it looks like. But that's something, if you can get the right card, you can build a deck around it in this. And that's another Forerunner. If we actually had Dark Destroyers <clears throat> in places of these wow. Forerunners, we could consider playing Cosmo. We have three e Telly too, so like it's not out of the realm of possibility. That's a third Forerunner. Wow, hold up. Me, dude? <laughs> There's a Dog Fighter, too. There's Luster Pendulum. Speak Dog Fighter! of just good cards uh we haven't seen a ton in like the gold rare slot that's been too useful to us but luster pendulum is actually quite good considering we actually have an ignister although ignister does get reprinted in here this is our first copy of this and so there's a lot of cool things we can do with this titanic galaxy is a fantastic rank eight. king's continent such rank a eight strange have trap card right now. Uh, it's our third copy of mistake it looks like well total and then um the other ones i this card, I just what are you munching on? Cotton my candy, memory, bro. I don't think I ever realized. I used to be a existed. fiend for cotton Vector candy. Is actually and there was some and giant so I thought, wow. oh, fuck uh, it. This is a good pack. Uh, the gold secret rares are a little bit of a mess. If I go into a diabetic coma, you guys have to call Jillian. About, uh, Draco face you don't have her so number, but just now scream really loud in chat. Pendulum, but Master Pendulum, the vanilla version of this, is a card that you can play. So I think we are live for Draco face off. And then Giant Hand's a good rank four, right? Solid. Two more packs left. What do we got in the close here? Another uh, Cosmo wow, Town. Nothing to write Fuck. about that one. That's a stinker. Uh, last That's pack. Stinker, another what? Giant Hand. A Juicy Noko Slash. I don't know if this is a key. There's Dark Destroy oh, and fuck. Straw Man in the same pack. What the fuck is this set, dude? 
So we have. He's just pulled constructed Cosmo. Go, let, let me go over this. We have a Dark Destroyer, yep. a Straw Man, mm -hmm. a Farm Girl. Mm -hmm. We probably have a playset of Wicked Witch because Wicked Witch was common, common in Dimension yeah. of Chaos. So that's probably not an issue. Not to mention we have three Forerunners and we pulled Cosmo Town. And I'm pretty <clears> sure we have Cosmo Town from Dimension of Chaos as well because that was also a rare. We yeah. might be able to play Cosmo. That's fucking insane. We still have three packs left. So what's funny about this is Gage has this Mind Master FTK that I'm excited for him to play this episode that theoretically can play enough Cosmo cards to just pivot into Cosmo. And I don't know what other Cosmo support we already have. If we can get a second Dark Destroyer, I might actually play Cosmo this episode. Let's see what we get in the last three packs. Oh Another my God. Another Straw Man. What the fuck? That's insane. We have e -tell -e Oh my God. Okay, two more. God, man. Um, oh, show me another Dark Destroyer. Please show me another Dark Destroyer. Ah, uh, there's no okay. Dark Destroyer. Well, I mean, Church is good. Is pretty good. Castell, another copy of this. A Volcasaurus, which we've actually not had up until this point. Because this, I believe, was like a manga promo or something. This this had a really weird way of entering the game. And uh, these the rest of these... Another Ignis is cool, but I think it's limited. Aside from that, though, I got to check you out my keep Cosmo this. shit. <clears throat> Holy shit. So I'm looking at my Cosmo support, and it's it's a bit rough considering... Wait, we can we play with this. Dogfighter, too. This is oh, enough. my God. We have another thing we can go into. Okay, so... We it does kind of suck because we don't have. What are we missing? We're missing Good, Good Witch, Witch, which like additional really farm matter. girls. Good Witch is just another pilot, which is fine. We're missing Tin Can. Is Tin Can even legal? Yeah, Tin Can was Breakers of Shadow, so we didn't have. Tin yeah, Can. but that's and fine. And then we're also missing. I know we're missing something else important here. Oh my God, what is it? There, there's something else. Oh, we're missing Slip Rider. Oh, that kind of sucks actually. Being able to float into like spell and oh, that is a big deal. That's a rare. I think I what's just going sort of through my head that. right now is, can we do better? And that no. might be super greedy of me to think that. No, come on. But oh, it's tempting. There's no. No, way come on. Better, right? We pulled like the actual nuts when it came to the co like it could have been true. better. Yes, but I think there are so many outcomes where we pull worse and Cosmo isn't viable. All right, after a little bit of pondering, I know me in particular, I'm running low on redoer tickets, so I gotta be choosy with whether I want to use them or not. This one in particular felt like a pretty good hit. Uh, cards like Beatrice, cards like Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. All right. Giant Hand <clears throat> is awesome too. These cards feel like irreplaceable, so I feel like this should be good enough to keep. I don't want to risk it on a reroll and get less, so let's submit this to the collection. Let's see what we got building for today. Yeah, you have to look. There are 40 gold secret Yeah, he could pull Magical Night Moonstar instead. That sucks. He but could in pull any fucking case, hands. Out of, there's yeah, two you gotta go. gold secret rares. You should have rerolled Bosch or something. 30 gold secrets, and I want to say like half of our gold secrets were Cosmo cards. I mm. think that is extremely unlikely to happen again, considering how much worse Yeah, you ain't getting, you ain't getting this, pull. these I'm pulls again. I'm looking at the other cards here, and they are not What's your bet on what they Play. Really good. I'm hoping I'm Alex it. plays Cosmo. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add it I think uh, Gage I think will play my anyway. Master we got, FDK. Like, the, uh, I wanted another Castell. I wanted at least one Volcasaurus. I think we got <laughs> a lot of the other generic stuff I was looking for. I do kind of want to do another 15 just to see if it would have been better or worse. Okay, because I'm sick in the head, I want to see if we would have done better or worse. So this doesn't count. I already locked in, but I just want to see. Okay, nothing good there. Nothing good there. Harbinger would have been nice, but we didn't uh, respin, obviously. Ooh. There's a there's slip, a slip rider. rider that sucks. We could uh, there's two, two slip, slip riders. riders. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we did that like a three slip, slip riders. Rider. Hilarious. Wicked witch. We already have a four fourth slip, slip rider. We would not have been able to even consider. Cosmo. No. Yeah. Only one farm girl. Too. Yeah. That's n yeah. that's not enough. I think we could actually maybe play Cosmo with this. I'm gonna take a look. Let's get to building. One thing that I love about season two mm. of progression series is the fact that we get to go into these side sets. Okay. So. <clears throat> Is this the FTK? I know like Mind Master uh, Sword Troopers is part of it, but I don't think this is the FTK. And re-experience a lot of these cards that it's maybe just, didn't get the first It's just Cosmo. Around. Cosmo in particular has been one of the archetypes that... Well, his Cosmo pool is a lot better than Alex's. ...cards locked under sets that have one printing until these side sets come out. I put together one today with the help of mm. I Wish TCG, always in our corner, and he cooked up a Cosmo list that is. Uh, Wait, who who the helped him out? TCG, always in unprinting until these side sets come out. I put together one today with the help of I Wish TCG, always in our corner. Who the fuck is corner, I Wish TCG? Cosmo list that is uh, looks pretty good. 
No, problem, I wish no, TCG. No what? The mantra we're going with. I, look and I think that's going to be okay because our main ship pilot is going to be the Cosmo Wicked Witch, and she is good on her own. The pilots can banish themselves oh, to summon a ship from hand. You can summon anything that has a higher level from it, and then the ships have the ability that when they're destroyed <sighs> and sent to the graveyard, you can banish them to demote themselves into the pilot. Essentially, you think like it's ejecting from the cockpit, right? Pretty cool. I like it. Farm Girl would be able to search out all of our pieces. If I, I just learned who I wish TCG was. Oh my God. It turns out, I, I can confirm this right now. I wish I was dead, got a foot job under the table at Applebee's, and now wants to live if it dealt battle damage, but Wicked Witch is just insane on its own for the fact that it has a once per turn during either player's turn effect. It's true. You can pay a thousand very life points true. it can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. That's pretty sick, pretty annoying too. So uh, I expect this card to be a pain in the ass to deal with. As for the other pilots, we have one tin can, which is like the main going first play. If you can end on tick can during the end phase, you get a search for any of your ships that you want, or at least one of the, the ships that you get the choice of. And then hopefully that can convert itself on your opponent's turn. You can banish the Cosmo to then summon from your hand one of the big ships and uh, get your engine rule in there, right? I'm elated that we pulled a Dark Destroyer. I want to say that's one of the only reasons that we can play this. Uh, this card was unbelievable. Glad that it already got a reprint and we were able to secure ourselves one copy. Can't target the big ships with card effects. Already annoying, but if it's destroyed, this card can pop a monster on the field, which is insane. The Delta Flyer can sink the attack of one of the cards and send a Cosmo monster from deck to graveyard. Dogfighter gives us continuous tokens and then Forerunner gives us life points. You might be noticing the star of the show right here, Mind Master is around for this deck profile, uh, but uh, he's not more doing like anything mind extraordinary. We do have a lot master. of psychics in the form of all of our little pilots are psychic monsters, so the fact that we can cycle them out for different ones to serve different purposes is pretty strong. Even just tutoring a tin can out of the deck isn't half bad. Hopefully, if it sticks around in our collection, anything? we have crazier things that we could do with Mind Master, but let's keep it <clears> at this point, right? I might be a little bit rusty with the Cosmo. It's been a minute since I've played with them, that's for sure. But I'm excited to see what we're capable of doing. All right, what's Alex playing? Chainburn? Like, in the middle type build? <laughs> I don't know if, if Alex it's rolls like up with Chainburn, I will shit play. my fuck. Let's see what Alex has got for today. All right, I give this about uh, like a 15% chance to actually win today's episode. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Why the fuck is he playing Gores in this deck that's 80% Call of the Haunted? Episode, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun. If we can actually see Dark Destroyer, I think our odds of us winning this just go up exponentially because this card is cracked. Some people still think that this card is just like the epitome of power creep. And honestly, I sort of agree because back during the day when Dark Destroyer was first released, there was very few things that could actually like deal with Dark Destroyer effectively. Say that word and again. So when Dark Destroyer was first released. Epitome of power creep. And honestly, I sort of agree because back during the day when Dark Destroyer was first released, Alex, that's not how you say that word. Creep, and honestly, I sort of agree because back during the day when Dark Destroyer was first released, there was very few things that could actually like deal with Dark Destroyer effectively. And so here we are playing absolutely neutered Cosmo, if you can even call it that. It's I'm so pissed. I was looking through my collection. I missed out on Sword Trooper in Breakers of Shadow, which was a super, which and there's a super in every pack. So like conceivably, I should have pulled at least one. No, I pulled zero, which fantastic. Great. So that makes it even harder for us to summon this. But in any case, we're going to do our best. So we're playing almost every single Cosmo card we have. So we have the Destroyer. We've got two Delta Shuttle. This may seem bad, but we can send Dark Destroyer to Grave with Delta Shuttle's effect and then start bringing it back with like Call of the Haunted and stuff. So that's honestly why this is in here. There's also floats into something like farm girl so there is utility to having this and it's also a random call for reasoning so i figure it's like actually not terrible one dogfighter only one farm girl triple forerunner double straw man and triple wicked witch it's very slim but when you pair it with the fact that we have triple e telly double cosmo town triple reasoning and then we also have like stuff like triple upstart goblin we have cosmo town that can also search stuff and like shuffle cards back and possibly like mulligan in a sense it's not as bad as it looks but it's still not great so we are relying on our good old friend Gores. I know it's a bit counterintuitive with stuff like Call the Haunted, but Gores is just a way that can <laughs> really equalize the board. There could be other traps in here. Okay, like we, we know what fucking Cosmo is. Get Gors. to the goddamn Gors games. Cosmo. We've got some Kaijus as well, just because that can out a lot of really... But in terms of comboing with Cosmo Town, Black, ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. <laughs> Gage, 
Vintage, holy shit. Premium gold. All the gold sets have been great, but infinite gold? Infinite is right. There's infinitely good cards in this set. How are you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah infinite possibilities yeah. too bro feeling like again we getting uh, the second stab at those really important archetypes and stuff like that it was cool opening this set there's a lot of great generic xyz's but also some cool okay stuff. i gotta did you get anything good you want to yeah, share with we'll me? see maybe i'll be playing some of it today maybe not but i will say i am definitely glad that i banned that dante a few episodes back because you had like the <laughs> whole burning abyss archetype at your disposal today and i will say i did not plan that ahead of time it just happened to work that way so I'm excited. I think there's some cool stuff that this set unlocks. And uh, I think this is one of the best parts about Prog Season 2 is getting side sets like this powerful. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And the last skills. I'm going to go first. Let's see how today's I'm game I'm really scared because you, you, the way you set up last episode, I'm not feeling good about how today is going to go. So best of luck, buddy. All right. Best of luck, duelist. Stand by me. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to normal summon, bro. You ready for this? No. Yes. Cosmo Wicked. Yo. Oh, okay. I'm in. Yeah, she's a baddie. Level four can protect. She's herself. a baddie. So I think she can be pretty good on her own. There might seem a little bit inconspicuous. I'll just pass the turn. Okay. Who knows what else I have? <laughs> Stand by main. Well, I know what I've got locked up in my hand is a yeah, very yeah. banned oh. card in Pot of yep. Greed. So we'll go ahead and draw two. And you know what? Man, we didn't judge with that one yet. Uh, yeah. We decided to keep that <laughs> People one. People are going to be complaining so much that we did. Yes, they will. Yes, they will. There too. Generous, thank you. Of course. Um, now the question is, what do I want to do? Good old Wicked Witch can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. If you, of course, pay the thousand. Mm -hmm. Which you just graciously <laughs> gave I, I, me I'm a I'm so free generous, right? I gave you a free <laughs> activation for it. All right, I think here's what we're going to do. I think I'm going to set one, two, three, and I'm just going to pass it back. Okay. Well, it's not Chain Burn, because you're playing Upstart Goblin in it. So... <laughs> so I have no idea what this could be. Uh, I'm going to, however, during the end phase, I'm going to activate Wicked Witch's effect sure. to bounce out. Is that okay? That's fine. All right. I get to banish and summon a ship from the hand. The Slip Rider comes down. Oh, here. we're slipping. This one takes Don't catch him backup, slipping. So very timely in the end phase here. Uh, I'm going to take care of the one closest to your deck. A Torrential Tribute. Not gonna oh, so that would have done fucking deck, nothing. But... Solid. I like it. All right. Uh, draw for turn. Stand by main. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I'm just going to normal summon another Cosmo Wicked Witch. Sure. Double trouble, baby. I'm going to go battle phase. 1900. 19 is fine. 2300. 23 is also fine. I Damn, we're getting that. in. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to set a card and end my turn. Go ahead. All right. I'll draw. Stand by main. Uh, this is kind of a summon. weird position, but <laughs> we can stall forever you know, I, with Wicked Witch. I'm just going to set one, and I'm going to set two more. And I'm going to pass it back. Dude, I have no idea what you're playing. <laughs> I'm going to draw for turn. Stand by main phase, okay? Yep. Okay, well, I mean, I'm going to go battle phase. I'll declare an attack for 23 in your face. Down. Well, Gage, I guess it's time to reveal what I'm up to today. And you have destroyed the Cosmo Wicked Way. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Oh, no. boy. Why? Come on, man. <laughs> Play something different. All right, I'm going to go 1,900 direct. I am going witch. to activate Call of the Haunted, targeting my Wicked Witch. Sure. Would you like oh, to you, redeclare? Oh, you take that trade every day. Yeah, I'm going to redeclare into Would it. Would you like to do anything? Um, This has to be before damage step. Uh, So, yeah, I'm going to activate. Gonna when did you strike this? I am going to activate mine as well. Oh, okay. okay. I'll take 1,000 <clears> points <throat> off you there. Um, That's a trade I make every day. I'm just yeah. going to pass. Go ahead. I'll draw. Stand by main. Okay. All right. Did not think we'd be That's doing huge. this this way, but you know what? We That's do like we enormous. Have. I'm going to sacrifice my Wicked Witch for Cosmo Delta Shuttle. Oh, you're right. I didn't expect this one either. What the? Are you, you, this is a tribute summon, correct? This is a tribute summon. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's that going to be fine. Yep. I'm going to activate my Delta Shuttle. Sure. I will dump... Dark Destroyer to the graveyard and okay, sink see. your Slip Rider by 800 points. I see where this is going. This is not going to be good. 15. Okay. Okay. We're going to go Battle Phase. Sure. I'm going to go Delta Shuttle into Slip Rider. <sighs> All right. I think I've got a read, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play into it. I'm going to take this 500. Okay. I'm not going to use Slip Rider's effect. Okay. I have a read that I think you have Call of the Haunted, and that's why you're dumping Dark Destroyer. 
unfortunately, no way that I try to like do this is going to work out how I want it. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to let this go. That's fine. I'm not. Gonna Wait, then why wouldn't you activate it? Okay. Am I missing something? Yeah. Why? Why would you do that? You do have call the haunted. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. Sure. I'll bring back destroyer. Uh, destroyer target wicked witch. I'll pay a thousand to keep it alive. And I will solemn strike. Oh, you're so disgusting. I, I didn't realize <laughs> you had another level to this like that. That's kind of crazy. Okay. Mm. Right. All right, we're dead here, by the way. What are you attack with Delta Shuttle? Wait, was this all during the battle phase? Yeah. Oh, my God, yeah, it we're, is. Yeah. We're still in <laughs> combat, baby. <laughs> Damn, must have blocked out. It's crazy, isn't there. it? Oh, my God. Wow, that's so unfortunate. Yeah, I'm going to take the three. Okay. e -telly. Oh, my God. Yeah, okay. Farm girl. Dude. Okay. 15. Um, I mean, I have to. There's no way I can let you do that. I'm going to have to call the haunted here. Okay. Sure. Part of the reason I didn't use the slip rider in there, but I've run into more problems. And that's that I look and I pop your call of the haunted that's connected to this dark destroyer. And you just start destroyer. And <laughs> I was like, that's, that's I mean, you're in a good that. position so in that yeah, you can pop the unknown the and then walk over the special, of course. farm girl for I'll most of, of the, the life points. Macro you got there. Sure. Yeah, I like that. It was an oasis, which is good for you that you didn't destroy the call of the haunted with dark destroyer because you'd probably be cooked there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so Slip Rider's back, which sucks. Not much I can do about that. Think from here. Oh, Italian face, right? You're right. Girl, I wish. Yeah, yeah. Uh, second main. I don't really think there's too much else to do. Here. This is not uh, an easy outable phase. board. I'll just resolve my. Can you target uh, Delta Shuttle? Because if so, we're one five away from okay. just Volcasaurusing our way out of this Stand one. Standby main. Oh, dude, I'm like. One good card away from putting this together. You know what all my cards fucking say? They say target, Alex. I need Interesting. I'm Interesting that they all say target. I need them not to do that. I oh, I was so close. I mean, I was close to beating you just it's last It's only seven turn. plus that has targeting immunity. Back, yeah, I think so. you're right. Lucky, lucky you. I'm pretty sure that's Damn, the case. That fucking... I was saying in my opening, too. Dark Destroyer is just an asshole. Like, he this is... card is so obnoxious. It's a piece of shit, bro. Let me tell you. <laughs> There's got a gauge. You can do this, bro. <laughs> you can do this. Stay positive. <laughs> I, dude, I'm so close. Right. So I think the one benefit I have is, like, you don't have any pilots left. And, like, you kind of got a commanding position with Dark Destroyer. But maybe I can, like, outlive you here. Maybe I can find a way to beat this. It's not sexy, bro. I know. I'm depressed about it. Uh, I'm going to th throw this in defense. Okay. I'll normal summon Sword Trooper. Okay. I'll end my turn. <laughs> okay. I, I know. It looks whack. Trust it. Trust the process. I'll trust the process. Trust mm. the process. Main one. I imagine you What is he doing? Hand, otherwise, there'd be no reason for you to do this. All right. We win the game here, so, like, right? You're obviously just going to tag out Sword Trooper here. Uh, so you, what? You have, like, your own Dark Destroyer, and that's where this is going to get really annoying. Uh, I'm going to start by firing Delta Shuttle. Sure. I'm going to dump a Forerunner. Okay. I'm going to sink your Sword Trooper by eight. Okay. Or by seven. So it's Excuse 100 me. defense. Got it. Oh, 300 attack. Yeah. Yeah, your Sword Trooper, not your Slip. Oh, the Sword Trooper. Got it. Okay, my bad. Yeah. Long guy. Okay. All right. Uh, as I said, there is zero chance that this is actually going to work, but I'll try it anyway. We'll attack. Yeah, I'm going to have to tag out. Uh, yep. Who you got? I guess this guy's probably fine. Um, dog Fighter. Dog, dog Fighter. fighter. You, got dog in me, bro. you got the dog in you. Yeah. Okay. Would you like um, to redeclare? Thinking about that. I actually don't think I want to redeclare. Sure. Let me correct myself. I'm going to redeclare into your slip rider. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, that's going to be Oh, we had fine. game last and turn? How? I will use slip Wait, what were we supposed sure. to do? So I'll banish slip rider, summon one from the deck, a little weenie from the deck. Call the haunted also goes as well. Uh, yeah, thank you. Um, I'll just summon a wicked witch from deck here. Okay. Sure. All right, uh, I'll go second main then. Crash dog, tag in a slip rider, Volca burn on Delta. Okay. Oh, can dog um, draw? Can dog port into slip Damn rider? Please. Dog fighter goes off. I get, get your token. token. Yep. Mm -hmm. to if so, it. yeah, you're oh, right. <laughs> not exactly where I wanted it. You could actually use the dog fighter token in Dueling Book. They have. <laughs> oh, it. wait, let me adjust it. Immersion gauge, immersion. How do I pick again? You hold, uh, hold the token. Thing. Got it. Got it. Let me type in dog. There it is. Dog fight. Look at it, bro. Yeah. Nice. Let's go. Immersion. Whoa. Viewers, it looks exactly the, the same as the... Exact same stat line. Here yeah. Too. Okay. All right. Going to try to decide if I want this in attack or defense real quick. Um, sure. 
I'm going to put it in attack for now. Okay. Yeah, that's well, that's interesting. Uh, I guess I'm going to activate GCD. reasoning. Oh, God. You and reason engage. Okay. The you issue with here? this is that it could be any fucking thing under the sun. <laughs> yep. What do I not want you to hit is the question. I don't think I care about any of the pilots. Let me think about this. Like, Tin Can doesn't do anything. There's Straw Man, which you have some things banished, but nothing, like, too crazy. There's Soar Trooper, but you only have Wicked Witch and Grave. There's Farm Girl, which does, like, nothing to my board. There's Good Witch, which also does nothing to my board. There's Wicked Witch, which also does nothing to my board. I also think you're out of Wicked Witches. You are. Uh, so then we get to the other weird stuff. So you could hit your own Dark Destroyer, which would suck. Forerunner's annoying, but it's still not big enough. <sighs> Slip Riders are probably, like, the most annoying thing that you could summon on me here. I think it's between five and eight. I think it's either slip you pick five or destroyer, here. probably. You don't want to give him access to Everything bulk. Else, That's the only way you lose. Manageable. So then that leads to the question <clears> of how many slip rider versus destroyer do you have? <laughs> slip rider was a rare initially, and it was also a gold rare in this set. And oh my god, dog, just secret, pick a fucking a number. Secret. So statistically, you should have more slip riders than you do dark destroyers, unless you got extremely lucky, which you could have. I'm going to play the odds. I'm going to pick five. Okay. See what we get? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Ooh, man, you're, no, you, wait, you're this lucky. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> ah, let's go with The fuck. best part is that it was Delta I Shuttle. This game, bro. I, it was, it, sometimes, bro. Flashbacks to season one there, I buddy, of your reasonings failing you. Damn, I kind of thwarted all my plans. I guess I'm just passing. Go ahead. Draw, standby, you get a dog. Oh, it's over. Token. Is it every standby? It's every standby phase. Crazy. Yeah. Even I didn't know that one, bro. Didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Main one. I'm just going to go battle. I'm just going to attack your Wicked Witch. Okay. I'll protect her. Sure. She's down to 25. <laughs> uh, second main. I'm going to fire Cosmo Town. Oh! I'm going to activate. The ad or the mulligan? The ad. Okay. Get Farm Girl back. Yep. Surely we can manage uh, a thousand. I'm going to mulligan. So I'm okay. going to mulligan Farm Girl and Straw Man. Okay. What are we trying to get? Draw two here. Uh, <laughs> I will set one. I'll Pretty good. Okay. It's uh, not bad. Draw. Get your dogfighter token. Uh, I don't want it. That'd be funny if it was mandatory. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's like, you cannot stop filling your field with these ships. Why can't you make this easy on me? Bro, this is one of the worst fucking mirror matches I've ever played. Just go to I combat. Walk into Delta Shuttle. Right now, no, we don't I'm have anything that beats it. Cosmo Town. Uh, I'm going to use its effect. Okay, appears to be. Wait, right we choice. win. We still have lethal. That's what I'm gonna go for. Makes sense to me. Okay, I'll pay five. Sure. N not five thousand. A little too much. <laughs> Should be at two thousand. Yep. Uh, I'll use the Cosmo Town to mulligan. I will sure. just mulligan the Forerunner that I have in my hand. Oh, okay. All right. That's fine. Okay, I'm just going to set a card and double check and make sure I can't do anything to win this game again. Yep. All right. I'm just gonna pass. Am I missing something? Uh, Can you not hit Delta Shuttle? Is it protected? Uh, or standby, would you like your dogfighter token? He said oh. lethal for like nine turns. Okay, what do we do now? I'm going to do what I should have done last turn. Uh, I'm going to Delta Shuttle. Sure. Uh, I'm going to dump another Delta Shuttle. I'm going to sink your dogfighter by five on both sides. Okay. So it should be a 15-19. This worked so well for you. Fuck it. <laughs> Reason. <laughs> Now you get to play the game. Oh, I know he's not going to be able to do it. Damn, bro. Um, I don't think. What is he hitting Delta with? And then Forerunner would Who, be what? like a very lucky Volcasaurus. Hit. I think like it's probably five. You probably have the most fives out of anything because it's it's again it's Delta Shuttle or it's Slip Rider, and I haven't seen a single one of those out of you. Chat, let me just get out in front of this because I know you all aren't going to be able to visualize a play this this difficult. Volcasaurus is a five with a six. Dog is a six. All right, let me just. Oh, let me just explain it to you all. I'll explain one time, and then we'll never explain it again. Switch dogfighter to attack, and attack into dark destroyer. Float into a five, then normal summon the five in your hand. Overlay for Volcasaurus. Yep. So I'll call five as well. All right. See what we hit. Shit. Oh, interesting. <laughs> no. GCD, you were saying this line 14 right? minutes yeah, ago, so all right? I'm not jerking right. you off anymore. Um, I want her in attack. That seems like a liability. I'll put her in defense. <coughs> I think my life was higher. And then target what? Delta shuttle! Put her in attack. Uh, cool. Let's go battle phase. Sure. Let's try to hit your Wicked Witch. Um, yeah, I'll allow it. That's fine. Okay. Second main. 
I will just pass. Does he have a five still in deck? Uh, we knew that he did because he's maxed out on Delta shuttles. He could have done it any turn for the past turn, four, right? nope. and then he reasoning for one. This turn was reasoning and wicked reach. Okay, you're on real back row. Um, Why do that? It plays in a bottomless. No, it doesn't if you retain priority. Um, in 21. So, like, what are these? Are two real back rows then? Like, what could it be? Deep prison if you play it still? No one plays that in this era. <laughs> this is prog, buddy. Anything, <laughs> Anything can happen. I'm going to go for this push. We'll see if I regret it. Uh, this is like the, the classic progression series game. Gage has game on board for five turns in a row, but figures out a way to lose. Phase on Wicked Witch. All the haunted Wicked Witch. What are you doing here? You go Wicked Witch, tag into Slip Rider that I know is in your hand. Slip Rider, pop. I don't think we can let that happen. I'm going to Twin Twister in response. Okay. I'm going to pitch this Gores in my hand. Okay. Targets? Call the haunted in my Cosmo Town. Yeah. Uh, my Cosmo Town effect. Yep. I will add a Forerunner. Yep. Go ahead. Okay. Um, draw. Stand by me. If you like to get a dogfighter token. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm over those dogfighter tokens. It's bro. every standby I'm phase, Gage. It's every standby phase. I'm like the master duel prompt every time. Oh, that's I got to really even good. out in the game yeah. one here. Greedy me, I'll take two more. Can we please Are they game win this game? Um, Forerunner in hand. Forerunner in hand. Forerunner in hand. Fuck. God damn it, Al. <laughs> Hold on. Let me, let me figure this out. <laughs> I'm so close. Two forerunner down. What are the odds? Yeah, he's close. He has it. Because if you don't have a third, like, oh my god, do you have a third? There's no way. And this has to summon from deck. If you don't have a third. I can just tell you're agonizing over there. You hate this. It's like, the problem is, is this like game is so down to the wire. Now that I know you have forerunner, it changes like the context completely. I'm trying to. Oh, that was the yeah, point. I'm trying to find. That was the point. My, my line <laughs> to victory here, and I can't, I can't navigate it. Something's not clicking for me. Now, nah, anyone who played this mirror knows this whole mirror is just like one gigantic grind fest. It's it's miserable. Just because like ev there's like everything just keeps getting something else when it gets destroyed. Yeah. It's just it's not a fun mirror match. No, it's not, I'm not having a good time. <laughs> like I remember playing this deck. I liked playing Cosmo, but like I, I feel like the general sentiment was everyone just fucking hated the mirror. All right, I'm gonna use the Cosmo Town for 300. Yep. I'm gonna get the uh, the Sword Trooper to my hand. Sure. After much thought, I've decided I am going to Twin Twister. Yep. And for this Twin Twister, I'm going to pitch a copy of Cosmo Town that I'm sitting on. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pop the one connected to Dark Destroyer, and I'm going to pop this spare one. Uh, thinking. I guess I'll chain it. It's the third call of the Haunted. Okay. Uh, so I'll get Forerunner. Okay. And then these get destroyed. Yep. Twin Twister resolves. Yep. And then I have two effects. So I've got Destroyer and Forerunner. Yep. Uh, what do we want? <laughs> Off of... He's Destroyer, got, like, nothing left in deck. Forerunner. Okay. And off of Forerunner, I will grab... Uh, oh, these also get banished. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. I guess I'll just grab a straw man. <laughs> like, might as well. Okay. What is this called, the Haunted? This is just floating, right? This isn't connected to anything. That's floating from the Wicked Tribute yeah. Summit of Delta Shuttle. Yeah. yeah. Flipping this guy to attack. This guy, okay. too. Okay. I'm going to go battle phase. Mm -hmm. I'll attack into Wicked Witch. Sure. I'll attack into Straw Man. Sure. About that one. I know your hand is Sword Trooper plus. You no, know, Sword slip Trooper, rider. Slip Rider, yeah. yeah. So you still have one card I don't know, right? Uh, sure. It's fine. Uh, I think I'll lose now. <laughs> I mean, I got to do this now because I, I can't look silly. So, I mean, I'm going to have to brain con your Delta shuttle. This is what I've that been trying. That was the last card. This is what I've been trying okay. to. He knows it can be targeted. Why? Piece together a whole fucking time, but I can't because this stupid ship can't be fucking targeted. <laughs> I like. I'm so close. You have no idea, and I I could not get this last literally like a hundred damage in to win this game. So I, now I think I lose. So I'm gonna summon Sword Trooper. I'm gonna use its effect. Summon Slip Rider. I'm going to pop this... Uh, Overlay? Well, yeah, let yeah, me see sure. if I want to pop that or my Cosmo Town. Not that it matters. It could. Uh, I guess pop the Cosmo Town and see what I can get. Sure. I suppose, yeah. Dark Destroyer. Yeah, you, you had one of these somewhere. Yep. And then I'm going to over... He, he found, like, the only way to lose, too, right? If he did this pre-combat, he could have just attacked over it three times. Right? Overlay these two. 
We can make Wait, it. why did we why did we attack over the witch? We could have just Valked the witch. I only have one choice. I uh, it's gonna have to be Volkasaurus. This is unbelievable! Like legitimately like fifteen different places. In defense. Ew. Well, so yeah, the problem was is like I really was just trying to get you to force one card on the field or something like that, sure. and I just didn't have a way to. Like that's why I had to ask if you could double banish, because then if I could clear one of the guys, <laughs> no, you could just clear the other though. I don't know. I feel like maybe I missequenced this. It is it's possible. possible. I'll just go to the end phase, and I'll pass. Go ahead. All right. Uh, stand by main. At first, I was going to say, I don't know what you're talking about. He's crazy. He's actually not dead. Stand by. I'll give uh, yeah, get your token. It doesn't matter, though. What That's do you fine. have? Do you have it? 800? I attack your token. Yep. Yep. E telly. Yeah, and you have another forerunner in hand. Yep. Okay. Yep. I. God, I'm going to gonna be eating myself alive. I think I missed sequence those last few plays. Yeah. Forerunner. Attack over your other token. All right, game two. <laughs> Damn it. Game two. That was only game oh. one. I hate this mirror match so much. I can't believe we lost that one. That is, that's like the most agonizing game I've I ever seen I in my life. I thought I definitely had that game. I'm going to look after that one after we're done. Recording. Yeah, dude. I think so, too. Uh, it was close, though. It was close. Very close. 45 minutes. You know, I'm glad somebody came out the victor. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go first again this time. Let's see if I can set up a little bit better. All right. Best of luck, my friend. I'll be curious to Best see, like, what your deck ends up looking oh. like. Obviously, it's Prague. We're playing with... Ah. <laughs> well, at least this one will be over quick. Like gimped decks so it's it's always interesting to see what we're able to cobble together yeah terraforming's fine they can always be pretty good starting with terraforming into the cosmo town's not a bad start yep. um i'm gonna follow that up with pot of greed pretty good two more awesome i'm gonna activate terraforming again <laughs> town, yeah yeah couldn't get enough of the town um i'm gonna use reasoning which one do you want to call man so now that we're at the beginning i can't listen to this I again each card of a lot four runners four it's a good one we'll take him okay handsome looking guy uh let's pair it with a i'll activate cosmo town sure oh could you imagine i had that set up first that would have been crazy i'm gonna use the town i'm gonna shuffle back good witch from my hand yep okay. and i'm gonna draw one more card just here. one sure it also could have been anything except slip rider to be fair <laughs> so, yeah that's true yeah, yeah. That's true. I could, maybe i couldn't have gotten that lucky yeah all right i'm gonna add one face down and uh i'm gonna pass to you with that all right so i know you just have another cost wow it's it's one. literally over oh I wow we actually lose the game right i'll here. draw oh my fucking god we stand. lose wait we're dead we're literally dead my main yep i think <clears throat> I'm going to Twin Twister just go after the back row. Sure. Call the, Call the haunted. haunted. Perfect. Uh, you can have this. Oh. Uh, why did we pitch? Wait. <laughs> no. It's pitch Gamsiel. Special Sidra, Contact Fuse, Normal Farm Girl, Farm Girl in, Pay, Grab Wicked Witch, Tag Out, Wicked Witch Attack, Tag Out Forerunner, right? It's oh, still game anyway? That fucking sucks. Yep. I've got How this. is it still game yeah, anyway? Make oh. It a bit worse for you. oh, Alec, what the fuck was that hand? Are you serious? <laughs> How is this We're still game? At the same grip? Oh my god, bro. Two kaijus, farm girl? I want I want to jump off a bridge. We just elected not to do Sidra <laughs> there. I'm going to take 1,100. <laughs> yep, okay. And then I'm going to take... 15. Fucking, oh my god, I probably just lost the game there. Yep. Back to farm girl. Yeah. How many of this do you have? Be honest. Yeah, we'll talk about it at the end. Uh, we'll get the boy. Dark Destroyer <laughs> pop itself. I, I got one of them. I'm thinking about a tag out now just for the 3k. Yes! Because it's a lot of damage. And it puts you down to 24, and it already just puts you in an awkward spot. Or do I want to just disrupt you with this later? I don't know how much mileage this destroyer is really going to get, in all honesty. Sidra was game. Sidra wasn't so game. It's not like I pop as much Aren't we... as usual. You know what? Fuck it. We're a little off. We'll get, it. We'll get in for 3k. <laughs> Only yeah. my okay. line. Go ahead. Uh, I will set a card. I will pass my turn. Go, <laughs> go ahead. That's all <laughs> I got. Draw. Battle. Yep. We'll go Jizukiro in. Uh, I'm gonna have to activate my Oasis of Dragon Souls. 
Sure. Yikes. So bring back Slip Rider, and I'll use Slip Rider's effect. I'll pop the Cosmic Town. Sure. Okay. Search with Cosmic Town. Shockingly, we are in this. I will pick up, pick up the Destroyer. Sure. Do you want to redeclare? I'm thinking. I will not redeclare. I'm just going to pass. Okay. Okay. I'll drop. Stand by me. Yep. All right. I'll activate the Cosmo Town here. Knew you knew, knew you had it. Yep. Um, I'm gonna use it for two. I'm gonna shuffle back four runner and slip rider. Sure. Ooh, you had a lot of. Shit. We would have had lethal if we right. went Sidra and gave them Jizzy. Back, now. And I'll take two more. Uh, awesome. yes. Well, uh, well, we would we wouldn't have even had to do it. It's not fair if you're the only one to have a really oppressive broken cards. Oh. So I'm glad I have one too. I'm gonna activate. System down. Yo. <laughs> okay, life. we're fucking around. Banish all machines. Uh, you control and in your graveyard. Look at you having the cards for this matchup. Yep. Got you, bro. There you go. Oh, yeah, C says back. with double side in hand. Wait, we're actually in a pretty good spot here. It's like the one game state where the sidras don't matter. Stand by me. That's well, not very friend, good. I guess I return the favor. I'll special cyber dragon. Yeah. <laughs> what? No. He's knowing. What? Oh. You're fine. Fuck. Oh my god. May I contact fuse? No, no, it's you not can't. on the EMZ, no, right? You can't, because I have a response. Yeah, you? you can. Holy shit, this might work. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna use Twin Twisters. Okay. I'm going to. No. No, he doesn't. No. No. Would you still love me if I was a worm? You pitch brain control for my hand. Okay. I'm gonna pop my Oasis and the Cosmo Town. Sure. Sending the Slip Rider to graveyard. I'm going to do chain link one slip rider to town. And yeah, is that good? That's fine. Oh, okay. Crisis averted. I thought I was almost, <laughs> I was ready to. I'm going to shit my, my entire pantaloons right now. He's going to grab a low level pilot plus dark destroyer. And then he's going to dark destroyer the Sidra. And he's going to summon the second Sidra. <laughs> I was ready to concede. You don't I'm understand. ready. I was like, oh, he got it. <laughs> Um, problem is now is I don't think I want to, I don't think I want to go into this dark destroyer in my hand in case you have another one. Oh, thank God. Oh. That would be crazy. Um, that would be crazy. Spider, we're going to special Wicked Witch. Yep. And then off of Cosmo Town, I'm going to add Straw Man to hand. Straw that man. Jersey pronunciation. Oh, be still my heart. Sure. Straw oh, Man. Oh, so battle phase. Sure. I will use Wicked Witch's effect. <laughs> so I'll tag her out cool. for Dark Destroyer, and I'll get rid of the Cyber Dragon. Wait, why would we do this? What the fuck? He's out of here. Second main. What's uh? What's Straw Man's <laughs> attack? Straw Man has a humble 500. 500. Little guy. Little, but also just big enough. I do have another one. All right. So we'll, okay. We'll contact. <laughs> yep. Uh, we'll get the Fortress Dragon. Sure. It's a 2,000 Fortress 2, Dragon. 2,000. Okay. I'll pass. All right. Draw. Part of the card. At this point, he knows the tunnel is there, but he's running in anyway. In hand, he right? needs that insurance payout. All right. I'm going to normal summon the Cosmo Straw Man. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use his special ability, paying 500 life points. I get to special summon back one of the Cosmo cards. I'll bring back the Slip Rider. Yep. Destroys during the end phase. But okay. That's at least we win this. I'll go battle phase. I'll go Slip Rider over your 2,000 Fortress Dragon. Take three. What are you worried about, Gage? It's not Gores. I know it's not Gores. <laughs> I'll take, take five. five. Uh, main phase two, I'm just going to go to the end phase. Slip Rider dies, yep. and then it triggers. Mm -hmm. So we'll pop it and then banish it. I'm going to go for Cosmo Tin Can. Out the Tin the Can. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yes. That's I'm gonna good. I'm going to pay myself down to 500 life. 400. 400. Sorry, I can't count. And I'm going to reveal three from my deck, and you'll pick one of them. So we'll go... There's actually a macro on this, I believe. Is there? If you hover over it. <gasps> oh, there is. Resolve yep. effect. I, that's, I, I remember that somehow. <laughs> it was a good play. All right. Uh, we're going to pick out Forerunner. They have to be different names, right? They do have to be different names. Yep. So Forerunner, Delta Shuttle, and... Dogfire. Uh, Slip Rider. Okay, one sure. Three. I mean, I didn't let me choose. It doesn't let you, I don't think. Yep. Yep. Okay. Ooh, four we got Forerunner. Runner. Um, from there, I'm just going to pass the turn. Go ahead. I'll draw. Stand by main. Uh, that doesn't do it. Oh, yeah, you would know what it is. Don't know your Wait, we're going to win! Do that for turn. Uh, I'm going to E-Telly. 
Okay. Get my own straw man. Oh, wait, we lose. I've got straw man's a psychic. Okay. Uh, we'll activate the effect. Sure. Get my dark destroyer back. Yep. Uh, we will go battle. You don't want to pop or attempt to pop with this? It's negated with straw man. That's right. I, I literally just... Oh, man. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Dark destroyers. Yeah. What do you want to do? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go straw man into a tin can. Uh, yeah. That's going to be fine. And then Dark Destroyer into Strawman. Yeah, uh, I'm going to have to use its effect. Yeah, you will. I'll bring out Forerunner. And then do you want to attack Forerunner? Do I want to attack Forerunner? That is an you just give him Gamsiel and pass. Do or uh, Godarla. You still have a card in hand. I know at this point you don't have more than one Dark Destroyer because you would have sent it off the tin can unless it's literally the last card in your hand. Uh, which if it is, that's also fine because I have my own Dark Destroyer. You know what? I'm going to let you keep the Forerunner. Ooh, generous of him. Thank you. But not for very long. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> generous of him. Thank you, Alex. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to go to end phase. We're going to have a couple things happen. So my straw man's going to get banished from E-Telly. Yep. Uh, Dark Destroyer's going to get destroyed from straw man. I'll trigger it. Yep. Uh, we'll just go ahead and grab ourselves a... Forerunner. Forerunner. And we'll go yep. to you. Okay. Draw. Damn it. Uh, go. Anything? Oh, is your fate going to be down to reasoning of all things? Oh, I'm excited for this. Any I, I mean, it's probably down to a lot more than that, but I'm going to call five because it seems to be a repeating sure. number in your deck. All right. So we'll call five. Ooh, the dog fighter yeah, gets in. I got that dog in me. Dog fighter, get in. Yeah, oh, man. <laughs> yeah, you got me. You got me. That was Fuck, so dude, that annoying. Was close, too. Like, I... That game won, dude, four turns in a row. I I can't watch these anymore, man. This is bad for my fucking health. Two individuals trying their fucking hardest to throw. Gage plays reasoning. Simo counters with actual reasoning. Yappening. All yap. Gage's deck list was far better, but Alex clearly knows the lines better. I'm so... Did everyone miss it? No. Oh, man. Even the comments didn't get it. Simo actually had a pretty sweet OTK line if he went Twins, Pitch, Gamsiel, Special Sidra, Contact, Fuse into Chimeratech, Farm Girl, Grab, Wicked Witch, Tag in a Witch, and then Tag again a Forerunner for Lethal. Dudding! What? Oh, man. Wow. Wow, that's unbelievable. <sighs> Let's get the memes going. Here's the second one. Uh. <laughs> but uh, this scene was so cool. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Let's fucking go! That's good. I did two things. This is the drawing. None of them are Jedi. This is I wish I was dead as Palpatine. Something, something, Simo cheating. Something, something, Tenyi instead of Tenpai. Sure. It's got me a picture of Foom to make something with, and both of you showed up. Reaper Foom, Reaper Foom. Sure. I had a bit at Locals this week. White Lib come load straddle. That's good. Proud of this one. Progression series and the mid-ass mirror. <laughs> We're going to get a lot of mileage out of this one. LeBron James reportedly forgot to hit the Snake Eye engine on the two or on the 415 FNL list. Oh come on, Ice Jade Arrow. Choose one, Scrub. God, wow. We were really just posting anything in 2016. Sure, sure. I'm still with you. Not a meme, just an emote. What do we got? Oh, that's not bad. We will we will add MBT spin. As soon as I saw Gage's deck, I knew what I was going to make. Ride me to victory, my friend. What a good episode. Simo playing shitty Cosmo. Gage using a better version of Simo's deck getting wrecked by Simo. The Judgment. No mention of Chain Strike. <laughs> He's got me trapped. Well, why don't you try reading the text? He 
he's got me trapped. <laughs> the Cosmo mirror sucks. That's good. Sans, it's Sans Dante. Uh, becomes worm type. Well, hold up. Does it become worm type in addition to its other types? No. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I can't believe it, guys. Actual progression in the progression series. Poplar. <laughs> there, there, there it is. Our top priority is maintaining the transgender. This is... Was it like agenda posting kite memes? I'm good. Gage MVP game one. That's... Yep, that's good. There's Volcasaurus there at the bottom corner. <laughs> Finally, loss on ban options. I don't care about any of the pilots, and you probably have more slip riders in your deck than a Dark Destroyer because it was originally a rare and a gold rare in this set. You would have needed to get incredibly lucky pulling Dark Destroyers, which you definitely could have. I call five. Shit. Man, this is a pretty mid card. Oasis of Souls. The Age of Gage. I don't even think I can look at these. Oh, I can. Both Nim Nim and myself will be opening 24 booster packs or one box of a core Yu-Gi-Oh! booster set. We will build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. However... Now you're gonna feel a little pain. <laughs> <laughs> Only I would laugh at this. Him. Better lose a boyfriend before I fist him. My man sings, oh. You know. P6, I pick up sticks. It's the whole fucking thing. Constantine. Okay, all right. Oh, we have another. We have another emote. Lawn cell. <laughs> uh, absolutely. Uh, let's see if we can get Gage on the horn. I think I think Gage needs to be a part of this. Oh, there's... Oh, oh hold up. There are some more memes in here. It's not porn. I'm happy to report there are more memes. It is not my pussy in bio. The game's over. You're going to Valk me, right? No, I don't think I will. Let's go to game two. <laughs> oh, damn. This is tight. <laughs> and there's me in the corner <laughs> this... destroyer floating off LM gives me PTSD don't hurt me they don't know the pain of leaving wicked in attack after today's judgment and announcement it's time <laughs> oh man would you still contact fuse if I was a worm <laughs> no way he got help from Irish TCG I hope they're as good at deck building as I wish I was dead <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, let's see. Scarlon. Joshua Schmidt. House of Champs. Tombox. Hard leg. She's washed. Real quick, I just want to say, Christian Urena won back-to-back -back fucking YCSs. How crazy is this? <laughs> that he did this while going on YouTube.com and just uploading every play he would make. Like, if you haven't been watching his YouTube... After he won the first one, he was like, hey, guys, uh, here are all the lines I did at the event. And he just walked everyone through what the optimal snake eye lines are. And then right before this event, he was like, hey, guys, we found some follow-up plays. Here are some other ways. <laughs> it's so funny. He's just like, yeah, I'm teaching you how to play the deck uh, and how I will play the deck against you. Good luck. <laughs> oh, my God. It's unreal. <laughs> it's, uh all right, okay. Let's see if we can get Gage on the horn here. I'm going to miss Snake Eyes Pure. I'm going to miss it a big deal. Oh, he's on Do Not Disturb. He never picks up when he's on Do Not Disturb. He knows.
knows I'm gonna flame the shit out of him too.